Hello and welcome back to Rare Madness Plays Brutal Doom. I'm Adam Clare 87. Go fuck yourself. What he said. Welcome back to Brutal Doom. Now we are back in knee deep in the dead. Knee deep in the dead even. There is a reason for this. I wanted to give you all a, a quick tutorial on how to set up Brutal Doom on your own computers. Because we are setting up a server in the near future for you to play deathmatch and occasionally cooperative games. Now the version of Brutal Doom we're going to be using is the Zandronum version. Which is a little different, I've been playing GZ Doom, Zandronum actually gives us better multiplayer options. Oh my lord, I forgot just how difficult this was. For those of you who haven't seen our videos, I suggest you check out Brutal Doom Season 3, where we played through third episode, Inferno, of the original Doom Wad. Ah. Fuck yourself! I'm the man! I'm Superman! And there we have it guys, so let's go into how to actually set up Zandrona and Brutal Doom on your computer. Okay then guys, your first port of call is to go to the Zandronum website. As you can see I've got this in front of me right now. The address for this is zandronum.com, which I'll type out on the bottom there for you. We want to navigate ourselves to the downloads page. On the downloads page, pick which one of these suits your operating system. For this video I'm going to show you how to install this on Windows. This may vary on Mac, Linux, any other operating system you might be running that can is supported by Zandronum. For this we're going to go Windows Installer bundled with Doomseeker. Doomseeker is a massively critical part of this. Okay so Zandronum is just finishing downloading. What we're going to do, because I'm using Google Chrome I can just click it, but you want to navigate to the file you've just downloaded which is an EXE file and follow the install process. When we come up with the first splash screen, make sure associate PWAD files is ticked and the portable installation is not ticked. Simple as that, nice quick and easy installation, we can now click finish. We close down our internet browser. And then go to my computer, or computer, and navigate to your Zandronum file. Now, in Zandronum, first thing you want to do is delete this Skulltag Actors PK3. This will stop you from joining any server. Next, we need to add our WADs. As you can see on my desktop, very, very cluttered desktop, I've got seven WAD files here. One for Doom. One for Doom 2. Two for Final Doom. And I've also got the WADs for Hexen and Heretic. We're just going to dump these straight in our Zandronum folder. The stuff I've got here in the skins folder is all the stuff is all the stuff for high definition textures and pictures. You'll be able to search these on Google. Anything like this that you want auto loaded when you open up, just drop in the skins folder. delete that out and I'll show you how to get Brutal Doom now. So we've installed Zandronum. I'm now going to take you through Doomseeker and how we get set up there. Okay then guys, now we've dropped our WADs into Zandronum. What we need to do is find ourselves a server to go online with. So I'm going to double click the Doomseeker icon here. Play Zandronum online. When you first start up you'll get a long list of servers like this. What we want to do is we want to find Rare Madness's server which is nicely appearing there but slowly going down the list so in the search box we're going to type either rare which will bring us up or brutal which will also bring us up as you can see as one of the simpler ones we're just running brutal doom on standard doom 
Now we can see here, I've got the Doom WAD, which is the registered version of the game. I need Brutal Doom, so when I try to join the server, I get a warning files are missing. Do you want WAD Seeker to find them? Yes, I do. WAD Seeker will now download the files for me. Put them in the right place. When this is downloaded, it'll start the game, which we'll fast forward to now. And there we have it. Xandronum's now starting up. It's now joining our server. And there we are, we're in the game. Once we're in the game, we want to set up a few things before we actually start playing because the controls on this, the controls are set to sort of old school Doom standards. You won't have things like mouse look enabled by standards. So what we want to do is we want to change a few of these controls. Hit the escape button. Using the arrow keys, go down to options, and we'll work our way through one by one each thing that we need to change. When we customise our controls, mine are already done here. However, fire, you'll want to change to mouse one ideally. Use maybe E. Secondary fire is useful to have on mouse too. Move forward, move back, strafe left, strafe right, your WASD or your arrow keys as you prefer. Turn left and turn right. We can clear these. Which I can't remember how to clear them, but yeah, you can clear these quite comfortably if you want to. There we go. Jump I have a space, crouch I have a C. The other important controls to you, run on shift, your weapons, mouse wheel, mouse up, and some of the really fun controls for this you will find in Brutal Doom actions. Kick, make sure you map that because kick is extremely useful. Reload, something that wasn't the original Doom. Offend, stick your finger up at enemies, definitely want to map that somewhere. And one-liners. The one-liners in this game are amazing. Make sure you map them to something. That is it. I have never used roll left and roll right. Next, we move into mouse. You want to enable your mouse. And make sure you've turned always mouse look on. That will stop you moving with the mouse. That will allow you to look with the mouse. Next, we're going to play a setup. We want to set up what our player looks like online. You will need to do this every time that you log on. Go in, change your name to something that you prefer, in my case Bam Bam Malicious. If you've downloaded a skin, you can change that here. You can change your colour. Make sure you turn auto aim to never as well. If you want to be getting headshots and getting some of the special moves, you need to have auto aim off. To get back to this screen, we just press escape. Gameplay compatibility we don't need to worry about. If you're filming you might want to turn the sound down. Display options, again we don't really need to worry about. Set video mode. I'm using a widescreen so I set my video mode to 1280 by 1024 which is the perfect resolution for me on my high definition packs. If you want it in Windows mode there is the option that is highlighted now on the full screen. I'm also using the OpenGL renderer which gives you the best looking lighting in the game. That is your setup guys, last thing you have to do is to press space, join the game and join it. Fuck yourself. That is how easy the setup for Brutal Doom is. If you've got any questions, any problems in this setup, please let me know. I will not be distributing the Doom Wad because that's illegal, it is a paid for game. Other than that though, I'll be happy to help you any step of the way where I can guys. I've been Admiral Claire 87 this has been a Rare Madness tutorial for Brutal Doom. I hope you've enjoyed watching, as always, I'll see you in the next one.